Hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Well, today this is Cooking with Coach D, all right? So today I am doing something simple. It's something that is um, a family favorite that they love that I do. I do this ultimate salad that I do. Um, it has, oh gosh, it has lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onions, feta cheese, eggs, um, ham, turkey, pepperoncinis, um, grilled chicken, um, you name it, bell peppers, you name it, it has it on it. And so, um, what I'm gonna do for you is, I'm just gonna make the salad for you on today and show you how I make my um, ultimate salad. So, one of the first things that I did was I went ahead and I grilled and grilled my chicken because I didn't want it to have to take so long for me to show you guys this. I went ahead and grilled my chicken and I went ahead and boiled my eggs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my lettuce. I've already washed all of my vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and take my lettuce and I'm going to cut my lettuce. So I'm going to cut that ugly part off right there. Okay, some of that. All right. And I've already um, checked my lettuce. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut my lettuce up. Okay. Alright, so we're cutting the pretty lettuce. It's so pretty and green. Now, I use romaine lettuce, okay? That's what I like to use. I like to use romaine lettuce um, because it just, I don't know, it's such a pretty green color. Okay, so while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and set the salad up too as we're um, cooking, okay? Um, or as I'm making the salad, alright? So I have cut up my lettuce. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up um, some cucumbers and put on here, all right? I've already um, kinda peeled my cucumbers a little bit. I like to do a, leave a little bit of the green on there, okay? So I like to cut my cucumbers in halves when they're going on the salad, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna cut those. All right, so I'm cutting those up my cucumbers all right and then i'm just gonna place them on there and so after um i do the salad you are gonna see the finished product as you're watching okay now i'm gonna go with my tomatoes so i use this is a roma tomato okay i'm gonna go ahead and slice these tomatoes okay so I'm slicing them just like this, okay? And I can cut these in half too because they're pretty big. Um, you can leave them whole or you can cut them however you want to. I think I just wanted to cut it a little bit. All right, so we've got our tomatoes cut. We've got our tomatoes on our salad. Um, that's one of my favorite parts of the salad is the tomatoes, okay? All right, next we are gonna go with some bell pepper. All right, so I got my bell pepper right here. All right, luckily I didn't get any part of the seed. I just got a little bit of that white fleshy part. So I'm gonna cut that in strips like that. All right, and I'm just gonna place that right there on my salad. Right, this is not taking long at all. All right, next I got some red onions, okay? Slice the red onions in slices, okay? Now, particularly me, I don't like red onions on my salad. I just, um, I like onions, but I'm not a big fan of red onions. Um, to me, they just leave an aftertaste in my mouth. <laughs> Um, and so I'm not a big fan of um, red onions, but I love the way red onions look on food because it gives it such a pretty color to it. You know, I love color in food, so it gives it such a pretty color. So we've done that, all right? Now, okay, I have a garbage disposal for y'all, so let me rinse this real quick. Okay, because we had those onions on there. 
All right, now what I like to do with my salad, okay, as you can see, the salad is coming together. We got our um, cucumbers, we got our tomatoes on there, we got bell peppers, we got red onions. Now what I like to do is I like to take a couple of pieces of ham and turkey with a piece of provolone cheese and roll it up, okay? And then once I roll it up, I like to slice it and just put it on top of the salad, okay? It's in a roll and I just slice it and put it right on my salad, okay? I do a couple of rolls of those, okay? Roll it just like that, all right? And put it on there, okay? I wanna put too much. All right, so we got that on there. Now, I, on my salad, I like pepperoncinis on my salad. So we're just gonna put a couple of pepperoncinis on there. A couple of pepperoncinis right there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my chicken. So I already cooked my chicken and here's what I did. I took my chicken and I seasoned it with some badia. Everybody likes badia complete seasoning. Some pepper, um, a little, um, what was it? A little, what was, let me see what that was real quick. I can't remember real quick. Um, oh yes, adobo. A little adobo with pepper. So adobo with pepper, some complete seasoning. Um, and I think I put a little bit of seasoning salt on there. And what I did is I also, after I put the seasoning on it, I went ahead and tossed it in some um, grapeseed oil. And then I used my stove top grill to grill the chicken. And then after I grilled the chicken, I transferred it into like a little casserole dish with a top on top of it. And I put it in the oven and I let it finish off for maybe like five minutes, okay? Because I didn't want the chicken to burn on the grill and so I went ahead and put it in the oven and let it finish cooking in the oven. I didn't let it stay in there too long because I don't want no dry chicken, okay? And after I did that, I just let it rest a little bit, okay? So here we got a piece of chicken, all right? Let me get my knife, all right? So I got a piece of chicken already and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that in some slices. Oh my God, that is good and juicy, y'all. Oh, wow. The juice is running right on out. It's good. So let me tell you something about when you're cooking chicken. It does not take long for you to cook chicken, okay? You cook it, um, it doesn't take more than 15 minutes, I promise you, depending on how thick they are. So my chicken, what I did is I sliced it, I butterflied it, and then sliced it kind of like in half. Um, some of them I had to beat with a... Um, beat them out a little bit to make them a little thinner but once you cook your chicken and it's done you put it and you let it rest do not cut it immediately because what happens if you cut it immediately all the juices just run out but if you let it rest a little bit when you get ready to cut it the juices will still be in there and it'll be amazing okay so I'm just gonna take some of this chicken and put it right on top of this salad here Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put me an egg on here. So I boiled some eggs. Just gonna take that egg, slice it. Okay, put it just like that. Next, I am gonna take my feta cheese and just sprinkle my feta cheese right on top of here, okay? All right. And so this is basically like a Greek salad, a Greek chef salad, if you want to say, you know, okay, a Greek chef salad, whatever you want to call it. You can put whatever you want on it. You can do shrimp on it if you want to. Um, you can also do steak, um, lamb, salmon, whatever it is that you want to do. You can do it. Make it yours. Okay. Make it original. All right. Um, and then sometimes what I like to do, I like to add craisins to mine. I love craisins on my salad. You can add craisins, you can add walnuts, you can add whatever it is that you want to add to your salad. Okay, so we're done. It did not take that long just to do this salad. So let's go back to the beginning. 
First thing that I did was I grilled my chicken, okay? While my chicken was grilling, I boiled my eggs. So the chicken just had badia seasoning on it. It had adobo on it, a little bit of seasoning salt, tossed it in some grapeseed oil. And then after I tossed it in the grapeseed oil, I put it on my stovetop grill, grilled it. After that, I transferred it to a little casserole dish, put it in the oven covered for about five minutes and let it cook through. Let the chicken rest. Do not cut your chicken. As soon as it comes out, juices will bleed out. Okay, you want it to stay juicy. Okay, so I let it rest. Then what I did was I came over and I, all my vegetables were washed. I cut up my lettuce, put my lettuce on the plate, my cucumbers on the salad, tomatoes, my bell peppers, my red onions, um, some pepperoncinis. I took a couple of slices of ham and turkey with provolone cheese, rolled them together, sliced it, put it on top of my salad. Then my eggs that were boiled, sliced it in half, put it on top of there, took my chicken that had already been rested and ready to cut, sliced it in nice little slices, throw it on top. Then on top, I just garnished it with what? Some um, feta cheese, okay? So you can use any kind of cheese, but I like the feta cheese because we like a kind of Greek chef salad, you may want to call it. And then use whatever dressings you like. You can use a Greek vinaigrette, a strawberry vinaigrette, raspberry vinaigrette. Um, you can use Italian dressing ranch, whatever it is that you like, whatever kind of dressing it is that you like. So I'm going to show you guys the finished product of this salad, okay? I'm going to bring it right on around, okay? And we see that this is, oh man, doesn't that look pretty? This is the finished product right here of our salad, okay? That looks really, really good, all right? That is the finished product, all right? This is our ultimate salad. Now, okay, you cannot tell me you will not get full off of this salad, okay? My husband loves this salad. He gets full every single time. He brags about this salad because he used to be like, salad, what? But when I would make this, he gets full and he is satisfied, okay? So, I'm signing off. This is Coach D, Cooking with Coach D. This was not a long one. This was a quick and easy. Go ahead and prepare your stuff. Um, I'm glad you guys came and joined me. So, until next time, it's not just a workout. It is your lifestyle. Cooking with Coach D.